Welcome to Finding Earth. The diet has been linked to several types of cancer. Cancer of the mouth, upper throat cancer, laryngeal cancer, lung cancer, stomach cancer, bowel cancer. Today we'll discuss how food habit increase the risk of cancer. Strong evidence shows that eating a lot of processed and red meat can increase the risk of bowel cancer and possibly cancer of the stomach and pancreas. The processed meat includes ham, bacon, salami and sausages. Red meat includes all fresh beef, pork and lamb, chopped and frozen. Fresh white meat such as chicken and fish are not associated with an increased risk of cancer. Scientists believe that processed meat and red meat involve the chemicals. Some chemicals are an integral part of meat and others are made when the meat is kept or cooked at high temperatures. Red meat, whether processed or not, contains a natural red pigment called heme. The heme could irritate or damage the body's cells or fuel the production or harmful chemicals by the bacteria, which could lead to a higher risk of cancer. Chemicals called nitrates and nitrites are often used to preserve processed meat. The presence of these chemicals may explain why many studies have shown that processed meat increases the risk of cancer more than red meat. Foods kept in salt may increase the risk of stomach cancer. Foods preserved in salt include pickled vegetables, salted fish and cold cuts. Salt may increase the risk of stomach cancer by damaging the lining of the stomach, causing inflammation or making the stomach lining more sensitive to cancer-causing chemicals. Salt could also interact with an insect called Helicobacter pylori which is linked to both stomach ulcers and stomach cancer. Industrial agricultural practices have loaded our products, air, water, soil and animals at the bottom of the food chain with harmful chemicals. The best way is to buy organic foods that are ideally grown locally. Conventional meat and dairy products are often produced with antibiotics and hormones that help increase production but can also cause effects such as estrogen disruption once consumed. Recently, studies have linked higher sugar diets to the increased risk of certain types of cancer. Artificial sweeteners such as aspartame, saccharine and sucralose can cause damaging free radicals in the body. High fructose corn syrup, although the manufacturers refer to it as a natural sweetener, is highly processed, artificial and capable of contributing to obesity and yeast growth among other adverse health effects. Nitrate, sulfites, food colors, dyes, and MSG have all been associated with free radical damage in the body. It is not just milk that is pasteurized to kill bacteria. Yogurts, juices, and many foods in our grocery stores have been treated at high temperatures, destroying nutrients and generating free radicals in the body. Pasteurization is used as a substitute for proper sanitation and abnormally prolongs the shelf life of food. There is not much evidence of a direct link between pasteurization and cancer, but pasteurized foods can cause inflammation and intestinal problems. In early 2017, the British Food Standard Agency launched a campaign to help people better understand and avoid the toxin called acrylamide. Acrylamide is found in things like cigarette smoke and is also used in industrial processes such as the manufacture of dyes and plastics. What is surprising is that acrylamide is also a chemical that is formed on certain foods, especially starchy foods such as bread, crackers, cakes and potatoes when cooked for long periods of high temperatures. The International Agency for Research on Cancer lists acrylamide as a probable human carcinogen based on evidence that it may increase the risk of certain types of cancer in laboratory animals. Drinking water contaminated with arsenic can increase the risk of lung cancer, skin cancer, bladder cancer. A survey conducted in 2012 by Consumer Reports revealed that arsenic was present in all brands of infant cereals tested, nearly 10 times the legal limit for drinking water. Organizations like EWG and the World Health Organization now recommend limiting the consumption of rice and rice foods. Thanks for watching. This is your host, Tracy Gomez. Please subscribe. See you in my next video.